Hi, in this video we are going to uh, discuss our alignment tool. Now, you can use this tool to align one object to another uh, relatively to the first item, the image, the selection, the active layer, the channel, the active channel, the active path. Now, first let's select one of these balls to make these options active. Now, the first item means that uh, our first visible item here, which is our background, uh, who, which is also as big as our image, so these two will be doing the same thing here. Now, if your first item is smaller than the image, then there will be difference here. You can do this relatively to a selection. So if you make a selection and then you can align to that selection using these options here. You can also align to the active layer, to the active channel and to the active path. Now let's try to do that to an active layer. Here we have this layer active, this big ball. I have reduced the transparency here, uh, the opacity of the layer so you can see when this ball gets behind it. Let's move this ball to the left edge of the target. So right now it's aligned to the left edge of the target. We can align it to the right edge. We can align it to the uh, center of the target or to the middle of the target. We place the ball in the middle here or to the upper edge, down, we can also choose to, uh, we call in our shift key, select more than one item to align. So right now I can align these two balls together. These options here, uh, distribute, are the same as these. Also they offer an offset. So you can go outside the image here by, let's say 100 here. This doesn't work here because we have our layer boundary. But if we change to, let's say, the image, and you see how we go outside the image because of our offset here. That's basically it about this tool.